This short video covers integrating Greenplum Database with Hadoop. Greenplum Database supports massively parallel loading and unloading of data to the cluster. The data sources can be ETL servers, mounted file systems, and of course Hadoop. With Hadoop, Greenplum supports Cloudera, Hortonworks, and MapR. Data is accessed by creating external table definitions in your Greenplum database. You can read data from your Hadoop cluster, copy the data into internal tables for faster processing, run Madlib functions, perform data science and analytics operations, run PLPython or R library functions against the data, and then once you're done, you can create a writable external table to then write the finalized result set back to the Hadoop cluster. All of this is done in a massively parallel process from the segment servers directly to Hadoop. In order for Greenplum to access a Hadoop cluster, the following needs to be done. Install Java 1.6 or later on all Greenplum database hosts. Install the supported Hadoop distribution client software on all hosts. Set the Java home and Hadoop home environment variables on all segments for user GP admin. Set the GP Hadoop target version and GP Hadoop home Greenplum database server configuration parameters, then restart the database. The GP HDFS protocol supports text files, both uncompressed and compressed automatically, Avro and Parquet formats. For this demo, I have both the MapR virtual machine and a Greenplum virtual machine installed on my computer. In Greenplum, I've installed the MapR client software that matches the MapR Hadoop distribution. I configure the MapR client to point to the MapR Hadoop cluster. I set the Java home and Hadoop home environment variables. I set the Greenplum configuration parameters, Hadoop home and Hadoop target version, to match the MapR distribution. In the MapR cluster, I have two files, data1 and data2, that contains customer data in the user GP admin customers directory. Each file has 20,000 entries. I then create an external table with the column definitions that matches the file. In this case, the location is through the GP HDFS protocol and then this is the HDFS directory and file type that I'm interested in. The format for these specific files is text with a pipe delimiter. In the Greenplum database I have tables defined, specifically the external table for customers, which uses the GP HDFS protocol and points to the HDFS directory and files that I'm interested in. When I do a count, there were two individual text files with 20,000 rows each. Greenplum sees all files in that directory as just a continuous stream of data, so a select count produces 40,000 rows. I can insert into the customers table an internal table in Greenplum. and then have that data and an optimized table format in the cluster to do further analytics on. I could also directly join internal tables with this external table to take data from Greenplum and analyze it directly against my Hadoop data without copying over. There's a lot of flexibility with this particular configuration and setup. To learn more about Pivotal Greenplum, you can visit these sites. For specific information on how to use and configure Hadoop with Greenplum, refer to the Greenplum documentation available at gpdb.docs.pivotal.io. Thank you.